When we lose someone we love, of course, it's such a sad and emotional time, but unfortunately, there are always those practical matters that we have to sort out, like settling the estate. It can be complicated, it can sometimes be overwhelming. So our expert in estate planning is David Carrier, and he's joining us now to talk about some things we should all know about probate. But before we get to that, David, last nice. time you were here, you and your team were going to the Disney Institute. You brought me back a couple of souvenirs right, here. That's right. Tell us what you learned there. What was the experience like? Well, you know, we sort of, we, we try to be like Disney, you know what I mean? And so in that, everybody's welcome. Uh, we're going to take good care of you when you show up. We're going to make sure that everything's done correctly. And uh, Disney has said, oh, look, here's the Disney way. And they've, they've trained all kinds of other companies. Now, we went and in the process, and, and they, t they take you through several hours of planning what your event is going to be like, and it was an all-day it was an all-day thing, and it ca became pretty clear they'd never dealt with law firms before. And we said, "Well, give us the law firm package. less of the law yes, firm exactly. exactly right." And there, and and it became, and they kept dodging and dot, and they were so straightforward on everything else. It was like, "Wait a second, you guys haven't done a law firm before, have you?" And well, none of us can remember doing right. that and it was such an important thing for our team we brought uh, about half the team there are 32 of us now and we brought about 15 folks uh, to the Institute and uh, it was just it was very powerful I mean one of the things that it, it told us was that when you uh, that a single organization it doesn't take 10 one organization can rupture the stereotypes in an industry uh, that's what Disney did with the theme parks back in the 20s. It's what we're trying to do with the law. I mean, we're really trying to rupture the stereotypes of lawyers are stuffy and they're not friendly and this stuff is really terrible, horrible. You know, it, it's like, look, and, th and that's for the rich people, too. I mean, it, it's only those people who need legal assistance. It's only those people, you know, you're either a criminal or a millionaire and not much in between. And in reality, we, no matter what the size of our estate is, it's important that we preserve it so that we can hand it down to the next generation. Right. So tell us about probate, because I know that it's an important concept. When, when we die, of course, that's the first step. Right. And then what happens? And let me show you, let me show you how it works. Imagine you're in the supermarket, right? And here you are, you know, going through life, everything's wonderful, no trust, right? Okay. You're just carrying your stuff, it's all in your name, right? Then you slip and fall, whoops, the stuff goes flying. So the first thing to do is to marshal the assets. Now, the guy who cleans up the mess, this is the job of the probate court. Okay. Now, when the probate court shows up, who comes next? Well, probate costs, right? The, the hassles of probate. We're here to make sure that this process where we gather the assets together, we stack them back up, right? We make sure, right, that the things are not lost, we pay the bills, and then once the bills have been paid, then we distribute to the, uh, to the beneficiaries. The thing that you have to be aware of, see, number one, gather the assets. You, we made a mess, mm -hmm. right? You might have a will, a will just being instructions to probate court, and then we'll help the executor or personal representative will help the family member who's managing things to gather those assets up. We only do it through the probate court. Now, of course, we do trust to avoid probate, right. but still, when we're going through the, and a lot of folks are still winding up going through probate. Yeah, it has to be done correctly so that the dragon doesn't eat everything up, you don't lose everything to expenses. Right. Uh, and then finally, after you've paid the expenses, then we distribute assets to the beneficiaries. And every step along the way, right, every step along the way, you have the opportunity to do it better or neutral or worse. And when we talk about better, neutral, or worse, we talk about preserving the maximum asset, the medium asset, or really kind of unfortunately getting a lot of that uh, depleted it, exactly. through those extra expenses and costs. Exactly. And you know, and everybody's like, ooh, probate costs so terrible, terrible. Well, what do you think probate costs are? I mean, 80% of this guy is attorney fees. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's that's really right. that's so really the plan tragedy ahead of it. And do it now and do it uh, in a very cost-effective way or your heirs will have to do it later and in you a much know more expensive way. And and the thing is we bring the same attitude to probate that we do to planning. Uh, that is, we do everything on a fixed fee basis. Uh, so when you go in, you know exactly what it's... We, we, we do a three-step process. Number one, proposal. 
here's what we're going to do for you. We're going to help you marshal the assets. We're going to help you with the accounting. We're going to make sure that when the assets get distributed, they get distributed to the right people in the right way. So number one, proposal. Number two, consequence. What, what, why are we doing all, we got all this paperwork to fill out? Yeah, and here's the consequence of that. At the end of the day, the personal representative is going to be safe. Uh, people aren't going to be suing you. You're gonna, all the bills will be paid. You eliminate you don't the have to fighting worry about... amongst all the, you know, your brother and your sister. Right. And, you know, I mean, it's like that can fracture a family for generations to come. It's, well, and, and you know, think about it. Think about how many Thanksgivings have been ruined, right? <laughs> right. Because somebody was trying to do the right thing and just didn't know exactly how to do mm -hmm. it. Uh, and then finally, for us, it's cost. And we'll, we'll quote you a fee. And if you want to do it, hey, wonderful. Uh, and if you don't, wonderful right have exactly. a cookie you know so people know exactly what is the entire totality of having this executed exactly okay exactly. so let's talk about the changes that happen too along the way I, I think for people who may think oh I did that 10 years ago or I did that five years ago if they didn't do it with you odds are that laws have changed policies have changed and you really need to revisit that you know what we like to say is the law is stranger than you can imagine I mean, we hear that a lot. I couldn't imagine that it would be like that. Right. I couldn't imagine. Yeah, I get it. I get it. The law is stranger than you can imagine, which is why uh, with all the families that we serve, whether you're a planning client, or it doesn't matter. It, 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 any client that we serve, it's always a free phone call. It's always a free visit because when you hear stuff, and everybody hears stuff, right? Well, we don't want you to stew about it. We don't want you to be thinking, oh, it's 250 bucks to pick up the phone. That's we not the case. They call you or your team probably, oftentimes, if there's a big law that's changing, they're proactively oh, contacting there's and no, getting things changed. Yeah, we do, we do the newsletters. We do all kinds of mm -hmm. things to do outreach to our families to stay in touch. And, uh, you know, and, and the thing is, you know, I get to be here and play with dragons and, and whatnot and be, you know, right. I get to have the fun. Uh, but the fact of the matter is that the, our, Donna is our probate paralegal. Um, she's, uh, you know, 25 years experience, all the rest of this. And it's really the team uh, that keeps the promises. And I, I say stuff, um, but it's the team that really carries through, that, that keeps that that keeps that promise. You know, Walt Disney, wonderful fellow, right? Uh, but he wasn't riding the rides. Right. And he, running the rides. Running and he the rides, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And he wasn't making the popcorn. So let's talk about you. It starts with a life plan workshop, and right. you have these. They're free of charge. It's a great place to get together and at least start that conversation. Very informative. You have one coming up St. Patrick's Day. Is this one That's totally right. booked? That's right. No, well, it's still on. We're doing a double header. See, okay. and this is a 6 p.m. The earlier ones in the day, those are booked. And then Saturday, okay. March 26th, that right. one in Holland at the uh, Hayworth Center, Hope College. Beautiful okay. location. You also have the Creekside Business and Conference Center in Kalamazoo, and then on Seaway Drive in Muskegon. And of course, you right. offer a number of these. Check davidcarrierlaw.com to circle back and uh, find one one. Now, somebody was spreading the rumor that there was going to be green beer at the St. Patrick's Day. Festivals. As a matter of fact, the crew already drank the green beer, so forget about it. No green beer. <laughs> no green beer, Sorry. but there will likely be donuts. Oh, there will be there will be weird stuff. Thanks, there will be St. Patrick's themed stuff for sure. Hey, we'll be right back with more at West. Don't go away.